I would say that the yoga um, in the in the past month is 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 something that I'm still kind of adjusting to because I'm not used to to this lack of like physical exertion. You know, I'm used to really getting my heart pumping and really running and really sweating and really releasing toxins and energy from my body that way. So to take this approach, like a much slower approach where the breath is really detoxifying, where you're detoxifying through um, really passive movements and things is interesting. Um, I'm feeling my body change, my body change and my mind, but it, it, it's at, it's at, it's at a, a pace that I'm not really used to. Coming here to Goa for yoga definitely wouldn't be my, you know, in the future wouldn't be my, my, my first destination to, to come to by any means. And so to me, my experience here with yoga has been, especially in my course, it was incredible amounts of knowledge. It was a four course meal. It was, it was delicious appetizing stuff, but they handed it to me on a garbage can lid. They, they were very business minded. They were definitely indoctrinated by like the western steez of things and that was just kind of very unappetizing for me. But I was still able to catch some seeds from a lineage of yoga that stemmed from very far back. So I had to take what was useful and disregard the rest, is like what Bruce Lee would say. You know, and I think it's, it's not their fault as much as it is the western ideology that's, that's swept the whole it swept the whole world. Everybody wants, you know, everybody wants more. Everybody wants to be a part of what's the fastest new growing thing. So it's hard to really separate yourself from that. But I, like I said, I have, I have had the right seeds planted here in Goa for yoga. Um, being really informed on what Ashtanga yoga is has just been one of the most, this has been just one of the most incredible things that I could have ever thought to offer to my life. Back in America, I was a Bikram guy. I loved Bikram yoga. Um, very spiritually dry practice um, in a sense, but very physically exert exerting, and that was right up my alley. You know, I just got to go in there, physically do something, and physically my body was going through such a, um, would go through so much changes that like mentally you don't have any real choice but to follow suit. But there's so much more that needs to be added to yoga to complete like what, what yoga is. You know, yoga is not just a physical activity. Yoga is not just about your physical body. Actually, that's just the part that you use in order to, to, to kind of quiet down and really experience the rest of the world, you know, the, the, the ment mental and spiritual part of the world, you know, that that that's really needs to be, you, you need to realize how you conduct yourself in that manner to really understand like what yoga is. Good night.